Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So when is the housing crash going to happen? Because we get that question a lot. Um, and you know what, I sort of get it because after going through the last market crash in 2008-2009, um, I think a lot of people are a little bit on edge knowing um, different parts of the economy and housing prices increasing so much that it crashes and well, I've got four points today that will outline why we believe the housing crash is not going to happen. And let's first start off with inventory, okay? Because the housing market, first and foremost, is um, driven by the simple economic fundamental of supply and demand. And right now across the Wasatch Front, we've got much more demand than we have supply. And it's going to take many, many months of literally no housing sales in order for us to get to a point where we're even breaking even. So right now, supply demand is favorably, um, heavily favored uh, on the demand side, which is causing houses prices to go up. The second is, is getting a home loan is much more challenging and much more difficult than it was back in the housing market crash. Right? Back then, lenders were doing stated income loans, which basically says, hey, uh, I make $100,000, but you didn't have to prove you did. Well, lending, um, you know, backers, they've all put in things in place that have made it much more challenging and difficult to get a loan. But that's all to protect you as the consumer as well as the government, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, so that those that actually are uh, applying for a loan are the one, and being approved, those are the ones that can actually afford to buy a home. And all that stuff's being um, approved on the back end to make sure that we don't have people that just need to walk away because they can no longer afford their home. All right, so supply demand is a big piece. Three is the equity that we have built in our homes. Like if you've owned your home for any amount of period of time, and I'm talking maybe two years or less, you've built up some an amazing amount of equity. And that is really um, allowing sellers to feel a little bit more comfortable about sit, staying in their home because their house values is increasing and so they don't have a need um, to want to sell or feel like they have to just walk away from their home, right? And the last one is unemployment, right? Unemployment is still at historic, uh, historic lows, which means people have steady jobs. When people have steady jobs, they tend to pay their bills on time, which again, will prevent them from feeling like they have to walk away from their home or maybe foreclose, default, maybe even do a short sale. So for all those reasons, we're in a really healthy housing market. Doesn't mean it's easy to buy because inventory is light, but if you do own, your home is appreciating, you've got some equity being built, and you are living the American dream. So if you have any questions about this, give me a call, text, or emails, because we'd love to help. You.